Hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This game is going to be between Razor Moon and Johnny Cage. This game taking place here on Twisted Meadows 1.9. Alright, Razor Moon opening up things with an altar of elders. Moonwell, Ancient of War hero, will be a demon hunter. Meanwhile, he will be going up against his, well, his foe, the classic, classic Archmage. As, well, Johnny Cage quickly going for a quick quick fast expansion a little bit of damage could be done here wisp is already right there perhaps a little bit of damage uh well or a detonation there's the detonation dealing damage to the water elemental no detonation on the archmage as we look at this ogre magi creep camp now getting cleared out footmen force troll shadow priest already being brought back here ancient of war suffering quite a bit of damage multiple wisps are on repairs duty as the demon hunter well able to finish off one ogre warrior and now making his way towards these remaining units demon hunter already very close to level two will get there and now perhaps going after these last couple of forest trolls here wisp no non longer need to repair um, as there is enough healing meanwhile back off to the north the forest troll shadow priest does get the benefit of that brilliance aura already and this game is already off to the races now twisted meadows is a very very large map with a lot of gold mines and a lot of opportunities to well level up your heroes on the map a number of changes um, from the classic twisted meadows where those higher level creeps are as the demon hunter comes across here does get a mana burn off on the archmage and now trying to go after that forest troll shadow priest forest troll shadow priest down to 176 hit points but doesn't get mana burned as more damage is going back and forth there's a mana burn onto the no um, no ward in there a little bit of damage dealt back and the demon hunters takes that experience away meanwhile we are looking at a pendant of energy on the archmage that may be handed off to the mountain king or perhaps some other hero later on as we see down to the south as well razor moon opening things up with a tree of life all right tree of life down um down there to try and get an expo up and running as we can see we are already looking at johnny cage setting up an expo up on the north all right how is all of this going to go down well only time can tell gonna adjust my volume up a little bit let me know how you guys think the volume is um overall i've been trying to play with my play with the mixer and everything it seems like my kids had been playing with the knobs and that well uh, inadvertently um, adjusted things after i had balanced everything so yep a three-year-old sees a bunch of knobs on a computer and then goes goes ahead and uh, well turns them every which way Anyways, coming back around, Archer is able to get in a little bit of pelting damage with that range. Forest Troll Berserker are going to come in um, as well as the Demon Hunter slips in with Immolation. This is going to be a difficult as the Demon Hunter can just simply stand amongst all of those peasants, cause quite a bit of damage as the Archers now try to back away here. Demon Hunter does have a Staff of Teleportation. This is not a one-way-in problem as the Militia are going to be forced to try and retreat back out as the Demon Hunter is unable to finish off those units. Slowly, Potion of Invulnerability trying to take down some of those units. The p militia tried to jump inside the gold mine to hide, forgetting that, well, while you are have that militia gear, that gold mine will not accept you. Demon Hunter is still causing a bit of mining delay here. Meanwhile, the archers, Force Troll, Shadow Priest, and Berserker coming to the expo, seeing that it is completely wide open as well. Demon Hunter are going to go ahead and staff a teleportation out of that tough spot, heading back off to the north. And now, there's a Force Troll, Shadow Priest, Abolish Magic, taking down that Water Elemental too. Demon Hunter getting very close to level 3, trying to rack up some damage. Archmage using that little bit of that stutter step to get away as the Demon Hunter is just hoping for perhaps a little bit of um, a little bit of evasion. No, can't get evasion because, well, no evasion possible because he did not spend it that way. Level 2 Immolation now, however, being used there and you leaving the Immolation on while using that Squirrel of Town Portal to head back out, taking down a couple more peasants as well. All right. A great way to use a scroll of town portal turn on immolation you are now invulnerable and you get a couple of seconds of damage across your oppose your opposing gold mine line you get some additional experience i believe it was two peasants taken down and well it, it kind of makes up for the cost just a little bit those future casters yeah those future casters whatever game they decide to play um well hopefully and they announce with clear, clear voices and are able to give proper insight. 
I can't say that I always do it, but I do definitely try. Pennant of Energy now dropped. Demon Hunter coming back around. Going to get some easy damage on the, some of those footmen. Footmen easily going to get taken down as the Archmage, well, doesn't realize what he teleported into. Demon Hunter already having a little bit of the lead here. We see a large number of footmen, and the footmen may try to dive in after all of these archers that have, and that Fortral Berserker that have medium armor. Medium armor, well, as we all know, suffers a lot of damage from those footmen as the footmen now trying to retreat back out demon hunter just trying to stand close enough finally gets a final shot off there demon hunter is low on mana turns on immolation for just a, another split second to try and get last bits of damage going as the forest troll berserker looks as though he's gonna perhaps get cut off by the archmage archmage with boots of speed able to launch another attack here are we gonna see that forest troll berserker slip on through yes he somehow is well nope gets end up getting denied right there all right, it looked as though this little pathway, walkway, and all of those creeps were going to allow that Forest Troll Berserker to back away instead. We're looking at human retreating back here. It looks like both players will be up and operational on two bases. Demon Hunter already has a panda as a friend and could easily be given that pendant of energy. Meanwhile, back off to the north, Johnny Cage setting up that blacksmith, taking that tier two. And yes, this game is well underway as the town, or not the town hall, the Ancient of War here shut down. Demon Hunter does have that pendant of energy. Um, or sorry, the panda has that pendant of energy. You're going to have plenty of breaths of fire. Arcane Tower is already up. Immolation should have been toggled already. There's a breath of fire there as Immolation does come to an end. Panda is going to be trying to test the waters here. Meanwhile, a battle back across the other way. Well, Scroll of Regeneration being used there as we see a quick deny on that Mud Golem. Panda could try and blow things over, but Panda does have some experience. There's another breath of fire going across as the Demon Hunter is still inside the um, Expo trying to put in damage on the bases. A lot of action going across in multiple locations here. Archmage still looking to get to level 3. It is behind in tech, is behind in heroes, and is behind in level as the Archmage is not even at 3 yet, even though the Demon Hunter is at level 4. Demon Hunter now going after these um, well, these peasants here should be able to deal quite a bit of damage. Meanwhile, back down to the south side, Dryads. Well, Dryads joining in on the fight. We could be looking at some abolished magic as well, and that could continue to feed the experience of the Brewmaster. All right, inside the base here. Forest Troll Berserker is going to be fighting alongside some bears here as we are getting Adept training. We are also going into Ancients of Wind. So Razor Moon uh, setting up a large number of uh, different types of tech building. I'm going to go for Ancient of Wind. It has the Ancients of Lore. Is checking the Tree of Eternity. And well, the Demon Hunter is in a little bit worse for wear as those Moon Balls are not yet quite full. All right, Panda trying to engage here. Dryads with that slow poison. Demon Hunter could, well, slice things up just a bit here. Does have a Clarity Potion. And at some point, I am expecting Razor Moon to try and retrain. Back off to the north. Archmage could be in a lot of trouble, and he is in trouble. Archmage gets taken down at level 2 by the creeps. All right, Johnny Cage not um, having full control of his army at all and then loses the archmage at loses the archmage at level two can pick up a tome of intelligence here that's probably the smart pickup a quick resurrection back here as well as we are going into workshop and perhaps some siege engines uh, thank you for the sub always definitely um always definitely Appreciated for every bit of support you guys give. I guess this will be my reminder for all of you guys who watch on YouTube and have a free Amazon Prime um, subscription to support channels you think are deserving. If it's mine, great. If it's not, well, there's plenty of other um, players and other casters who, who do definitely need your support. So definitely check them out as well or and support them as well. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and clean up the Ogre Warrior Creep Camp, Forest Troll Trapper Creep Camps here. Going to be not a problem really. Mountain King sitting at level 2, Footman wandering out as the Archmage is just now getting resurrected. We are looking at Siege Engines. And Johnny Cage going to be using, well, as, as much flack as, uh, as some human players get for using Siege Engines. If you are building up an army of just massive piercing damage, 
well, siege engines are, um, with that fortified armor, is extremely effective. It, I know it is also very extremely annoying, but at, in the same time, in the same way, it it gets the job done. And it counters the army that you have, um, that Night Elf players often bring to the table. We are looking at additional Ancients of War being built here um, by Razor Moon to try and protect the Expo as the army now... Um, well, the army now rolls on out 1-0 upgrades, and that could end up just getting surrounded here. Yeah, a quick surround on a siege engine, and that now staff of teleportation inbound. Um, Stormbolt straight up onto the Druid of the Claw. That Druid of the Claw, um, that's going to end up trading a 4 supply unit for a 3 supply unit, unless it gets staffed or preservation out, which the Panda did have. Both sides fighting their way through siege engine, trying to uh, well, slip on out. Archer going to get taken down. There goes the siege engine as the Knights um, with that Fortif or with that Sundering Blade could deal quite a bit of damage and there's a nice quick holy light there keeping that Mountain King in the well in the red instead of in the dead. Demon Hunter going, trying to come back around here. Mana burn onto the Paladin. Paladin completely out of mana now. Multiple units trying to fight against that level 4, nearly level 5 Demon Hunter with that Orb of Venom who can deal quite a bit of damage over time. All right, boots of speed. A paladin needs a little bit more mana. Units are all trying to retreat back. Demon Hunter now going after the siege engine here. And remember, hero damage also does less to fortified armor as well. All right, we're looking at siege engines rolling down across here. Remember, they do attack very slowly, especially if well someone slings mud at them as well. As now the siege engine gonna move on to a different building. The siege engine's only very effective against buildings that have fortified armor. Once they uh, lose that fortified armor, they actually take less damage. Hence the ancients of war uprooting themselves and well moving on out. During this time, though, Arch Archmage Mountain King Paladin gonna use this opportunity to clear out difficult creep camps and level up. Staff of Sanctuary also being used as the Tome of Agility. Oh, well, in comes the Night Elf Heroes. In comes the Panda. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Are we gonna see a Holy Light trying to save the Night Knight? Is it gonna get taken down? Yes, it will. Paladin ends up staying alive. And the Brewmaster able to clean up the remainder of this creep camp. All right. Additional staff of sanctuaries will most likely be necessary for Johnny Cage to keep this knight army alive. Um, using the knights and siege engines together, um, uh, not your typical strategy at all as the paladin needs to back away. Um, yep, see, that's one of those things. When the paladin doesn't have a ring of regeneration, he just doesn't naturally heal up all that much, especially at level 1 when his strength uh, stat hasn't been bolstered up just quite yet. All right, that additional Ring of Protection plus four will definitely help Staff of Sanctuary now. Uh, that is going to be a quick bit of healing to try and uh, heal up that Paladin back at home. Three, two, one, going up against a level five, level three. Demon Hunter has level three mana burn, level two immolation. No evasion, so we'll see how this affects the overall durability of that um, of that demon hunter. Breath of fire going across. Spellbreaker is able to easily absorb some of that damage, but what is going on here? Razor Moon going to be able to easily pick off some of these units if, well, Johnny Cage is not careful. 77 supply compared to 70. Down to the south side here, siege engines with negative armor taking a bonus damage. Um, for, as because of that negative armor here, but it looks like the siege engine is going to try and stop this entangling gold mine. Meanwhile, there are a couple of hippogriffs um, and well, just a decent spotting all over the place as Johnny Cage could be running into a bit of problems. That paladin is out in open field and no staff of sanctuary as another knight going to get blown over. It just feels like Razor Moon is in dominant control of this game, about to get to level 4 on his second hero, thereby surpassing, well, Johnny Cage's primary hero in hero levels. All right, bottom left-hand side of the map, uh, Mountain King looking to get to level 3. Mountain King has a Ring of Regeneration. Um, Paladin doesn't need it quite just quite yet. We, are we going to be looking at a, a Devotion Aura or Divine Shield? That is going to be the big deal for the Paladin as we look on the bottom left here. Massive number of repairs to try and keep this entangled gold mine alive. And, well, 
since gold mines don't actually cost any gold, it doesn't really make um, any difference as the repairs are, well, absolutely free. All right, Whisk going to be jumping back into that gold mine. Meanwhile, we see a drop inside, or I don't know how they all of those units got inside this base here, but they are here, and they are causing a problem inside the base of Johnny Cage. Mortar teams are now lobbing in attacks as well. Those Dryads, they end up getting splatted down. You can see how much damage they took as a Breath of Fire nearly blows over a Goblin Shredder. He does end up getting taken down. Mountain King seen that level 3, and this is the difficulty of trying to fight inside a base sometimes. Goblin, or the Druids of the Clutch, were trying to go after a Spellbreaker, nearly got him down as now the demon hunter did he go a bit too far he's going to be forced to perhaps use a scroll of town portal in order to back away but how much damage was done panda got up to level um level four demon hunter nearly at um well demon hunter nearly at level six now and now we could be looking at orb of venom ranged chaos poison damage soon all right, bases in the corner still have plenty of gold. Primary bases have about three and a half Blade minutes left, maybe a bit more if since Johnny Cage was forced to halt his gold mining um, for a couple of times. Ring of Superiority now given to the Paladin. There's that Ring of Regeneration on that Paladin. You can see that faster regeneration rate of allowing him to stay alive and not get into those dangerous situations as early on. I don't know, maybe it's just a m my personal preference liking to see. Oh, man, uh, wow. Archmage quickly, quickly gets down to sub 100 hit points after a mana burn and breath of fire. Um, could um, level 3 breath of fire may have been just enough if there was also an, an auto attack in there to take down that Archmage. Archmage is extremely fragile with only 525 hit points right now as a Ring of Regeneration now transferred to him instead since he's the one low on hit points. All right, Re item management, great, great play by Johnny Cage. Meanwhile, we're looking at, well, mortar teams lobbing those attacks. The Dryads are no longer nearly as well clumped together as the Demon Hunter does have level two immolation is now going after these mortar teams that are well just very low on hit points and going to get taken down as well bears going up against all the knights here but the bears no longer have roar as the spellbreakers are offering the support and stealing it away who has more damage 30 to 55 damage going up against well 41 to 57 um auto uh, well, the attack speeds do make a difference um and unlike in StarCraft, where it tells you that your attack speeds are given in how many attacks per second. It just says fast, very fast, medium, slow, and very slow. So um, difficult to quanti quantify those particular, um, well, those particular descriptions to see who's really winning out in those battles. Now, coming back through, Archmage. Well, still getting, um, still trying to get uh, a little bit more in hero level. That's definitely what needs to be done. Um, you cannot expect to deal with a level 6, a level 5 Demon Hunter, or soon to be level 6 Demon Hunter, and a level 5 Panda with a level 2 Paladin. Um, that just will not work out in your favor. Meanwhile, we are looking at a, a bit of a dive inside of the main base now. Towers are getting taken down, but the, besides infrastructure, um, there isn't really much to try and destroy here. Um, gold is rather limited. Taking on the castle, um, well, it would stop the night production as the, the demon hunter comes over and well, now activates immolation to try and clean up all of these peasants. A massive thunderclap slowing down all of the attacks of the druids of the claw here. Is it going to be enough? Um, well, yeah, now pretty much forcing a scroll of town portal and heading back home. Johnny Cage sitting at 62 supply compared to 78. At some point, I am expecting both of these players to try and set up another base somewhere. We do have uh, Nature's Blessing on this Tree of Eternity, so he will be able to walk over to this gold mine if he wants. Meanwhile, uh, well, Johnny Cage is getting the opportunity and chance to level up off of the map. That is the big difference here right now. We saw a really strong leveling out of the gate by um, by Razor Moon, and now Razor Moon, the only real way he can gain level on that Demon Hunter, and well, effectively once the Panda gets the level five, is by fighting and engaging against Johnny Cage. 
And now that the Archmage has gotten to level 4 and the Paladin's gotten to level 3, we've seen a big, big shift in hero levels. I've often... I, I really don't know the answer on what I like more. Two level 6 heroes or three level 5 heroes. Um, both are in ex incredibly strong. And um, having that level 3 ability, whether it be Stormbolt, Thunderclap, and, or, and then ho level 3 Holy Light versus the ultimate abilities that have that much longer cooldown. Ogre Maul are going to get taken down there. I believe there was a Tome of Intelligence left behind as the Demon Hunter now chases after these units. Stormbolt onto the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter purposely backs away, gets a little bit of distance before going to try to re-engage again. All right, Panda does have level 3 Breath of Fire. Um, there are plenty of targets to go after these mortar teams in the back. The priest um, slow down or a, a building up damage against these knights in that front line position as well. Now, as, as you look on the main portion of the map, a lot of the creep camps have already been cleared out as well. Scroll of the Beast dropped for the Paladin, not the item he was looking for. Spellbreakers can give plenty of roar to the human army whenever the Night Elf army tries to use it. We can see the Tree of Eternity has been shifted and rotated over back to this 4 o'clock spot. No the new gold mine for attack. Johnny Cage. So what you see is what or one base right now. And, and now this base is in a threat of getting taken down. Anti-magic shell also on the Demon Hunter to try and protect against all um, from the feedback of this arcane tower. Demon Hunter now getting up to level 6. Now going into Metamorphosis. Going to quickly shut down this Hong Hall. You can see a great thunderclap here to try and slow the attack. Breath of Fire getting everything and all, every bit of damage out of the tank here. And then a quick tactical retreat knowing that his opponent well is now limited to zero bases this gold mine has now been mined out and we are looking at two bases versus zero as johnny cage is could be in a bit of trouble and a bit probably a bit of an understatement in a lot of trouble here level four level four level three it's going to come down to execution with that army the demon hunter did back away already and with and well there are a couple of orange creep camps still available on the map so getting every bit of experience that you can is important if you can get to three level five heroes level three archmage um well, perhaps level three water elementals level three thunderclap and level three holy light and um, with level two devotion aura um, that is a, a great great amount of damage mitigation now however this base actually going to be gifted over the tree of eternity is in a lot of trouble mortar teams are raining down there in comes a scroll a, a scroll of town portal and now we're going to have a fight here chimeras are going to try and engage dryads are trying to separate themselves from the the masses as the mortar teams are going to be lobbing those attacks here Chimera is going to get quickly shot down by these um, flying machines as a couple of Wisps are coming off to give a great bit of detonation as well. Both sides suffering big losses, but the Thunderclaps, um, well, eating away at the Druids of the Claw hit points at a significant rate. Johnny Cage able to actually take that battle there, and now this base is about to get shut down by the what, unending attacks of these mortar teams. Coming back around here, more Staff of Sanctuary trying to save up some of these units back at home. That was a knight right there. And Johnny Cage with the lower hero levels well, waited for that attack, lobbed a couple of Mortar Team shards, coupled with getting that Mountain King in that frontline spot and that Amulet of Spell Shield uh, able to perhaps negate a mana burn uh, was key in getting the Mountain King enough of Thunderclaps, um, well, to turn that fight his way all right now demon hunter waiting for that metamorphosis cooldown to be to be reset we've seen how powerful that demon hunter is once it has that metamorphosis going uh, well gauntlets of ogre strength plus three being left behind there plenty of items to pick up not quite sure why uh, the archmage didn't want it as it would have given him an additional 75 hit points as well Both sides fighting their way through. Water Elemental is going to get taken out. One more shot should do it. There it goes. 
Going to be going into an engagement here. Demon Hunter up to 950 hit points. A mantle of intelligence being left behind. And wow, Johnny Cage well, littering the battlefield. Or, and Razor Moon littering the battlefield with plenty of tomes, um, well, books, and, um, well, and clothes, I guess. Mantles of intelligence. That sounds like my living room right now after my kids forget to pick things up. Stormbolt onto the Demon Hunter. Gonna try and engage here. Dryad's gonna go ahead and come across as well. Mana Burn 150 onto the Mountain King. Mountain King, that amulet of Spell Shield, did not negate that one there as there. Well, that's the one that negated. So that 40 second cooldown, that little bit of difference, and just trying to shut down that Mountain King. That amulet of Spell Shield is making all the difference in terms of in terms of well, whether or not the Thunderclaps are going to be plentiful or not, Archmage could pick up that Mantle of Intelligence, get a little bit of bonus damage, and a little bit of additional mana too, as we are looking at no base, no gold mining still after all this time. Meanwhile, Razor Moon still mining up on one base with a couple of Ancient of Wars nearby to offer protection. All right, Mortar Team's going to clear out this last Ogre Magi creep camp. And Mountain King gets up to level 5. Archmage could get up to level 5 here as well. Paladin going to stay at level 4. And it looks as the Archmage is just, just shy. 4 experience shy from getting to level 5. Alright. Going to be a big fight here coming up. Demon Hunter picking up a potion of lesser invulnerability. Uh, Night Elf still getting some gold, albeit not very much. Um, a bit of roar going around as well as both sides are getting ready. Level 3 Thunderclap over level 3 Stormbolt for those curious. As the Mountain King needs a bit, well, needs a bit more mana still sitting at 270. But when going up against a level 3 Mana Burn, you find yourself out of mana very often. Alright, going into this engagement now, perhaps even buying a potion of mana would be a, a good call here. Also having a Staff of Silence. So being able to Staff of Silence the Demon Hunter or per and perhaps Stormbolt him to get out of range would be a big deal here as the Mountain King and Archmage leading the charge down south. Putting the pressure inside Razor Moon's base here with that still has two minutes of mining left. We are looking at long distance mining Players coming across from that. this Northern Expo. So some gold is gathered, but not very much. All right, Hippogriffs coming in from the other side. Fly Machines are there ready to engage Mountain King. Well, there we go. There's a Stormbolt onto the Demon Hunter. Are we going to see a follow-up Thunderclap? Uh, there's that Manor Burn. I was wondering why there was no silence to place down first. There's that Thunderclap now as the Mountain King may get Manor Burned once more. All right, there's that Manor Burn again and no more Thunderclaps available. Dryad's uh, Fly Machine's not dropping any bombs, but all the Hippogriffs has been taken out. Breath of Fire going across the entire back line here as they're getting blown over. Dryad's both sides fighting 62 versus 61 supply. This is an absolute bloodbath. Everyone is losing a lot of units here, and who's going to be able to bounce back first as a knight gets taken down instead of being staffed? All right, there goes a bear as well. Mountain King perhaps going to try and give chase, and now, well, that Druid of the Claw is in a Druid form, so easier to pick off as well as a couple Ancients of War are now going to end up being lost here. Staff of Sanctuary trying to reset a couple of the um, of the knights. There goes one Ancient of War. Paladin, I don't believe, will be able to get to level 5, but losing some of these key buildings as well does a change change the landscape of the battlefield on to the bottom left now this gold mine only 30 360 gold left taking down the moon walls could be just as important both sides are we gonna see some detonations here we are where where's it going nope th that was not actually a well, I thought it was a scroll of town portal, but no, it perhaps a canceled staff of teleportation as both sides are looking to engage here. Um, Chimera's going after the knights here. Knights with a quick holy light breath of fire, not able to finish the job as, well, a couple of units go splat right there. Razor Moon doesn't have any more gold or uh, trees trees of life ages or eternity on the map and he will be revealed unable to get any additional gold meanwhile long distance mining still happening for johnny cage sitting at 59 supply over 78 his army is also significantly larger and we are looking at well multiple level five heroes nearly um nearly level five on that paladin as well all right Still getting cleaned up. Staff of Sanctuary rotating, bringing units back home, letting them heal back up safely. And 
that's one of the reasons why I like that Staff of Sanctuary so much. Useful in and out of combat to just give um, give heals and perhaps keep mana strong onto that um, on your heroes. Meanwhile, Demon are going to try to dive on in. Quick mana burn onto the Mountain King. Mountain King didn't use that Staff of uh, Silence again onto that Demon Hunter. I, I would have expected that to be used a little bit more. Johnny Cage could have been in a much better spot fighting all of these melee units in the front. But as the Chimera is going to get cleaned up by the, um, well, Fly Machine, we're going to see a level 5 Paladin on the field. But once again, no mana anywhere to be seen. Staff of Preservation saves there. Staff of Sanctuary saves there as the primary heroes quickly get taken out. But the Mortar teams are now, well, looking to just absolutely shell shock all of these Dryads. One shot could easily take down um, two, if not three, of these Dryads here as the Paladin now walking in slow motion. Paladin gets taken down as the Brewmaster now gets up to level 5. 38 supply compared to 51. I think the wheels are starting to fall off, though, on the on um, Razor Moon. Razor Moon's army down to 30 supply here. Um, going up against a 40 supply army with really uh, no easy access to, well, um, to heals aside from these... Well, I, I guess when you have Moon Wells and Bears... You always have easy access to heals. Night Elf is revealed. Now there is no tree of life that I can spot no, or see. And, well, the Demon Hunter now going after this castle to try and stop the long-distance gold mine of, of Johnny Cage. All right, a couple of Dryads coming back across here as well. Panda could get some Junkin' Haze, Breath of Fire, and those all of those peasants are going to get roasted and burnt to a crisp there. One last peasant going to get taken down. Demon Hunter, however, is still staying at level 6. All right. Three level 5 heroes going up against two level 6 heroes. I'm not quite sure how I predicted that or forecasted this, but who has, who has it better? Paladin is still out of commission right now. And it is not getting resurrected as the well, units are coming back across here. Mountain King doesn't have a Staff of Sanctuary. No, yeah, no Staff of Sanctuaries anymore. They were sold perhaps to try and resurrect this Paladin. But the Paladin is currently not even getting resurrected back at home. All right, losing those Staff of Sanctuaries could be a very big deal indeed as the Mountain King and Archmage now make their way off to the north. All right, who has easy access to heals? Um, who is going to find their opponent, um, well, in the wrong spot, so to speak? As we see, oh, these units got split up in a different direction. These can all get cleaned up, and Johnny Cage may have thrown the game here, losing four priests and a mortar team, perhaps, as they're trying to catch up to all of these targets. All right, a quick dispel, trying to go after all those units. There's a breath of fire. One mortar team down, one priest now down and still trying to well, chase after for a bit more. All right, still trying to, uh, the priests are trying to regain here, and Johnny Cage had lost control of his units temporarily, and now with no Staff of Sanctuary, I believe the Paladin, yes, was resurrected at the tavern instead of resurrected back at home. That ends up costing more, and he doesn't even have that much hit points or mana. All right, so um, it looks as though Johnny Cage could be in quite a bit of trouble. Razor Moon still has very powerful heroes and the game can still go either way if you are not careful all right yeah trying to clear out those corner maps are very or corner creep camps can be very difficult as well um additional yeah the additional gold could have helped but yeah trying to clear out those corner creep camps um, with these granite golems um, well always always a uh, tough anyways coming back here priest inner fire mana and being provided by that archmage's brilliance aura the main resource that is uh, that johnny cage can try and capitalize on there's a couple of abolished magic trying to take down a draw um uh, take down some water elementals no storm bolts possible we're going to be looking at a couple rejuvenations or one rejuvenation on a low hit point dryad as the demon hunter going to dive in with metamorphosis again multiple water elementals are here we're going to see a mana burn there's a mana burn there's a storm bolt we pretty much expected that there was no staff of silence there's a staff of preservation bringing that unit all the way back home mountain king doesn't have enough mana to storm bolt the paladin or the panda yet but then again well with Brilliance Aura getting plenty of mana. 
Back down to the south side here. Well, calling for a draw? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> No. All right. Johnny Cage and Razor Moon do not want a draw. They want a victory here. Going to try and engage here in just a moment. Yeah, a short of an island uh, somewhere in the corner of the map having some guard towers. Um, yeah, n don't draw. Try to figure out a way uh, to fight and win. All right, a couple of moon wells being left behind here. No additional trees of life. Plenty of lumber for the Night Elf Army as the Demon Hunter quick takes a quick storm bolt and losing quite a bit of mana. There's a mana burn right there. Are we going to see Metamorphosis? Now, yes, we finally see the Metamorphosis, but that may be too little, too late. A little bit of damage now backing across here as the Dryads are trying to poke across once more. Demon Metamorphosis, Demon Hunter down to 71 hit points. He's going to be forced to try and retreat. Are we going to see Earth, Norm, and Fire? There's a Breath of Fire. Now Earth, Norm, and Fire are out here on the battlefield as the hero levels or as, as the ultimate abilities are trying to win here. We see Pulverize on Earth and a taunting everyone trying to surround earth there as the dryads are now trying to back away all right storm coming back across a little bit of piercing damage there's some more abolished magic storm does have wind walk able to come back across here take able to take down a couple of those priests as well as the demon hunter comes back around but is now in a little bit of trouble as he wants to engage but is was so low on hit points since he didn't start off with that metamorphosis fast enough mountain king still looking to engage water elementals coming back around 25 supply compared to 28 um, as the army sizes are about the same, but Earth, Storm, and Fire could be coming to an end. All right, trying to finish off the Archmage. Archmage down to, well, was down to about 100 hit points, but a big Holy Light by the Paladin, who is now finally out of mana. Breath of Fire coming back across the other way. Druids of the Claw going to get taken down here. 18 supply compared to 28. 14 supply army compared to 28 here. No more peasants as the Brewmaster now trying to retreat back with this Druid of the Claw. Demon Hunter could come back around here. Perhaps could try and mana burn. But really, it is the Archmage's Brilliance Aura giving mana to these other heroes. And mana is the resource that is keeping the game going. All right, Demon Hunter quickly staffed a preservation all the way back home. This is not a good spot to be in as the Mountain King tries to race up, catch up to that Druid of the Claw, perhaps land a Storm Bolt, and, well, further weaken Razor Moon's army. All right, Mountain King is going to be able to close in on that distance. No boots of speed. Mountain King looking to get that Storm Bolt. Does get the Storm Bolt off. And, well, there's the other staff of preservation as well. Dual staff of preservations. Demon Hunter now trying to back away, needing to wait 57 seconds before he can go into Superman mode once more. All right, no long, no mining. Everyone is revealed. Everyone's revealed right now. All of their buildings. Demon Hunter just going around, making sure, getting a little bit of superficial damage, and now gonna well staff of teleportation inbound. The Brewmaster is in position here. We're gonna see a mana burn, storm bolt. Demon Hunter could be in trouble. Drunken Haze, breath of fire. Demon Hunter, well gonna use immolation, try to well, rack up a little bit more damage again as level two immolation does do a little bit of damage, but he can't be that close. Remember, this is not the uh, the this is not the kung fu. Uh, demon hunter that we know of usually he has two points in immolation instead of evasion meaning that he's taking more damage the that demon hunter is actually a v very fragile if you don't account for his um if you don't account for his evasion demon hunter could get some more mana burns here panda gonna go ahead breath of fire metamorphosis back up to 600 hit points gonna try and fight his way through but he is currently stunned more damage adding up here demon hunter coming back across gonna get some damage onto the paladin paladin could be in a lot of trouble down to 115 hit points down to 81 down to dead as the well the demon hunter able to get staff to preservation back home and Razor Moon ends up with the victory. A great game going back and forth. Two level, all right, well, I guess two level seven heroes greater than three level five heroes in this matchup. Uh, back and forth, well, only both sides only mining from two gold mines on Twisted Meadows in a 40 minute game. A little bit odd there. Could have mined from other bases as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.